Attention viewer, you are watching the world's biggest Monster Truck Diecast YouTube channel. This is Monster Jam OCD. Hello Monster Jam fans and welcome back to another Monster Jam OCD review video. Today we are taking a look at Series 11 of the Spin Master Monster Jam Minis. And this is the first time I've seen them not label what series they are on the actual packaging. So it was quite confusing. I had to look back at my last review, which was the previous one you guys saw, to know which series this is. But uh, we're going to unbox them blindly as usual because I don't receive the packaging with them anymore, just the actual bubbles now. Uh, so we're going to unbox them one by one, as I usually do. Uh, like I've mentioned in previous videos, and hopefully these codes are correct, sometimes they do change, and I apologize for that. We had that happen, I believe, with Series 8 back in 2022. I am so sorry for that, but uh, these codes tend to change sometimes out of nowhere. Not my fault, but uh, I just don't have control over that. So for now, the codes are as follows. It looks like we are going with 787 as the first code. So the last three digits of this code here, 787, as our first truck. So let's unbox number one of 12, the first mini of this series. And our first truck is, if I can get it open, is the Monster Mutt Rottweiler. And this is a debuting casting in this series. Very awesome. I had no idea it was going to be in here. I actually have no idea what any of these are. But uh, the Monster Mutt Rottweiler is making its first appearance in mini scale. And it looks perfect and awesome right there. So Monster Mutt Rottweiler is our first new truck of this, of this series. And next up, we have number uh, 062. So they're completely out of order. 062. Let's see what it is. Uh, it is the Chase Piece Gravedigger, and very interesting, actually, because this is the older Gravedigger scheme. As you can tell by the dark purple ghost, um, we have not seen them do an original Gravedigger scheme before, so that is a surprise to me. That might be a hint towards a future 164 scale release. I don't know, but it's cool to see a retro scheme return, and it has the clear glitter chassis, which is part of the Chase Piece line this year of the four that there are, uh, with purple tires. So two awesome little tidbits in one for this Gravedigger right there, the dark purple scheme, and that is our second truck and our first Chase Piece of the set. Next up is number 785, 785 which is the Northern Nightmare with a white chassis and red tires. I'm sure this is a common truck, so Northern Nightmare back again in this series as number 785. Next up is number 063, so here we go. 063, which is the gold truck, and it's Pirate's Curse. This actually looks really cool. So Pirate's Curse, now in mini scale as a gold chase piece truck. Pirates plunder for gold, and it makes so much sense that they would make it into a gold chase piece. Uh, this is awesome. We saw Pirates Curse debut earlier this year for 2023, and now it finally has a chase piece edition in gold and brown tones. This is perfect and fitting to the theme, and I love it. So Pirates Curse, our second chase piece truck of this series review. And next up is number 79790. Let's see what we got here. It is, oh my gosh, this is awesome. And I hope that this is a hint towards the future. It is a Chrome Max D, another chase piece. In this respect, it is the stunt truck Max D that, that performed the front flip and also the double back flip in the respective stadiums back when they were doing the stunts with the chrome body. It also technically is the 10th anniversary edition, although the 10th anniversary edition had the 10th anniversary decals, but also debuted this Chrome Max D scheme. But this is the standard Max D scheme in Chrome, and this is the first time we're ever seeing a Chrome Max D. So this is big, big news if it is hinting towards a 164 scale release. But right here, our third chase piece, the chrome wrapped Max D. Perfect and awesome. I love this. This is great. I'm actually really excited about that. Again, I have no idea what any of these minis are, so these are all surprises to me. Uh, number 789, let's see what we got in this one. And it is the return of Son of a Digger, so a standard Son of a Digger release with a purple roll cage and black tires. Nothing too special, especially when you compare it to the things we just saw, but that's still pretty cool. Uh, we have 780, let's see what it is, 780 is El Toro Loco with a gold chassis and yellow tires with the orange body, another common truck. And number 781 is Gravedigger 40th anniversary. What another surprise we have here. We are fresh out of the 
Uh, 40th anniversary of Gravedigger, yet it never received a mini scale release. Now it has. It just needs a 124 scale now to make the set complete, the trifecta. But there is Gravedigger 40th anniversary with the roof printing and the side panel printing with that design choice. We have a silver chassis and green tires as well to match. So Gravedigger 40th anniversary making its first mini scale appearance in this series. And you can actually see what I was talking about with the old Gravedigger scheme versus new. This is definitely a difference and they must have gone back and grabbed the old artwork because these paint schemes where the new Ghost has a lot of lavender. This is how the old Ghost looked like in the past around 2007 I want to say to around 2013. I think I'm right on that. I might be wrong though. Um, but that's about the era that the original purple ghost was around. And now we have the more lavender color for the ghost. But there's the difference in the paint schemes. Even though this is a 40th anniversary, it still applies to the differences. So pretty awesome. Next up, we have number 779. And this is the Batman. So Batman's a very common release in minis. We have a silver roll cage and black tires for this release of it. Another common truck. Uh, number 788, 788. And I'm going through these pretty fast. I know we'll do a turntable at the end of every truck and their codes on screen, like I usually do. But for now, let's keep going with the unboxing. And it is Soldier Fortune Black Ops, another common truck with silver and silver for the chassis and the tires. So that's pretty cool. Two more left. We have number 791, 791. And it is a X-Ray Zombie, a clear body zombie with a clear chassis and clear red tires. One of the coolest X-Ray trucks yet. Man, this is awesome. This is really, really cool. It's a pure clear body as well. So I love clear things. I've always said this on my channel if you're a long time watcher and especially when it's pure, just transparent white or just clear, I love this. So this is really cool. The fourth and final chase piece of this set, the clear zombie. And uh, actually I might've been wrong. I think we only have three chase pieces out here. So, oh no, here we are. We have four chase pieces. So these are the four here in line with each other. So this is the final new truck of the set here, 784, which is, Megalodon. So Megalodon ends off the series as a standard release, kind of similar to one we've seen before. So we have a silver roll cage and black tires, and that will cap us out at the 12th truck. So capped off with Megalodon, and here is your full minis set here for this series. Here are your chase pieces, your new debuting trucks right there, and your returning common trucks on this side. So these are the rare ones, one per case. These are just new for this set, and these are your repeats. If you haven't found these trucks before, you can find them in this release. So now let's take it to the turntable for a look at these trucks up close. Okay, so the first truck of series 11 on the turntable is number 62, and it is Grave Digger, the rare variant. So one per case, this is the glitter chassis chase piece variant of Grave Digger with purple tires and also a classic throwback to the original grave diggers when they were painted with dark purple fog and ghosts so this is actually a really cool throwback i don't know if this is going to make it to 164 scale but hopefully it will because it is technically an older variation of grave digger not only as a chase piece but as a cool throwback so here is number 62 the rare grave digger with a glitter laden clear roll cage and it is followed up by number 63, another chase piece, the official designated chase piece, the Gold Pirate's Curse. We saw Pirate's Curse debut in Series 9 earlier this year, and now it has returned for a gold chase piece edition. One per case, and it's very fitting to the pirate theme, obviously plundering for gold all the time. The truck has a gold tooth, and it is just super awesome. The graphics look great, and I really enjoy the Pirate's Curse mini scale casting. I think it's a perfect fit for a chase piece gold edition, and it is one per case, number 63, the Gold Pirate's Curse. And this truck is no stranger to the mini scale. It is Batman and it is number 779. I know the codes are a little out of order. I don't know why they did it this way, but number 779 is a common truck, Batman returning with a silver roll cage and black tires. And another common truck, El Toro Loco Orange returning as number 780. This is our fourth truck of the turntables and another common truck with a gold chassis and yellow tires this time. Number 780 is El Toro Loco Orange. And this is definitely one you won't want to leave behind. It is number 781, a common truck, and it is the Gravedigger 40th anniversary paint scheme. This is the first time we're seeing it in any scale besides 164 scale, and hopefully this means we'll see it in 124 scale later down the line. But number 781, another common truck, is the Gravedigger 40th anniversary paint scheme. 
Another common release of Megalodon as number 784 with a gray chassis and black tires is number 784, Megalodon. And Northern Nightmare returns to the mini scale scene as number 785, this time with the Canadian flag colors as the chassis and tires with a white chassis and red tire setup. Number 785, Northern Nightmare. And a first time debuting casting in mini scale, it is number 787, a common truck, Monster Mutt Rottweiler. This completes the trifecta of real life running Monster Mutts as the third Monster Mutt to be released in mini scale. Hopefully this means in the future we will see Poodle and Husky, but for now we are joined by the third Monster Mutt member, Monster Mutt Rottweiler as number 787 and another common truck in series 11. And another common truck on the turntable is number 788, Soldier Fortune Black Ops returning with a gray chassis and light gray tires with the classic Soldier Fortune body. With the classic Soldier Fortune Black Ops body, number 788 is Soldier Fortune Black Ops. And capping off the common trucks of this set, it is number 789, Son of a Digger, with a purple chassis and black tires. We have seen Son of a Digger many times before, and this time it has an awesome looking purple chassis with the black tires, full grill printing, and all the great details of Son of a Digger. So number 789 is Son of a Digger. And by far the most impactful mini yet, it is the Chrome Max D, the stunt truck Max D that we saw perform the front flip and double back flips respectively at their own events, piloted by Tom Mentz, one of the most well-known Max D schemes of all time. It is number 790, the rare one per case Chrome Max D. And wrapping up the rares and this Series 11 review will be Zombie, number 791, one per case, X-ray edition Sheer Madness Zombie with clear maroon tires, a clear chassis, and crystal clear body. What an awesome way to end off Series 11. I love clear trucks, and this is by far one of the coolest ones yet. So number 791 is the rare X-Ray Sheer Madness Zombie. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this review of Mini Scales Series 11. What a great case of, of new stuff, returning stuff, and debuting stuff. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time. This is Ryan Armand, Monster OCD, signing out.